crime scene. Crime scene. And this here is. Oh gosh, that that didn't really work. I'm sorry. Here, I'm not really that shot. Very Sydney. It's me, Gabby, again. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a current barn tour for June 2018. And I probably will do one, like another one, later this year because things probably will change a bit. But that's okay. I am ready to show you guys my barn. So let's just get started. So we're going to start on this side of my barn. This is just like the kind of, I don't know, hangout side of the barn. <laughs> I don't really know what to call it. Here's like some little tack boxes and there's like a treat bin and this is the lesson barn so there are like things here that would be useful for lessons and whatnot but the arena is on the show barn level but you'll see it later so this is a little treat bin here and I just have a bunch of tiny bags some not so tiny treats in there um but it's pretty cute and it's just like a really old treat bin I made when I just started but I still keep it and in this tack box there's a mess. I'm not even going to go through that. There's a bunch of like old saddle pads that I don't make anymore. I have a new style now. So that's just what's in there. This here is one of our barn cats. And her name is Silver. And I have two of these cats. One has darker shading, which is this one. And one has lighter shading. You'll see the other one. Oh, actually, I'm going to just compare. It's the same cat, but this one's way darker than this one. And uh, this one is mist so silver and mist <laughs> but yeah she just has little milk and there's nothing on that side I really have to make some kind of cat food <laughs> I don't really know and then right here we have Manxy and she's super cute she's a little I think she's a Manx I'm not really sure well her tail is long well she's a tabby for sure oh, wait what am I saying Manxy her first name was Manxy now her name is Tabby I forgot and I call her Tabs for short because, you know, I'm Gabby. Her name is Tabby, but people call me Gabs for short, so I call her Tabs for short. <laughs> I thought that was cute. That's why I changed her name. And right next to where Tabs was, she was right here, I have this little basket. And it has some halters in there. Just some, just like, official ones. They're really not good. And I make tack myself, as you may know. I hope you know. <laughs> I even have a tack shop. But, um... It's not even focusing on it. These are stitched very badly. I stitch mine better than this. I mean, <laughs> this is pretty crazy. But I just have them here because then it's easier to grab them. And I don't actually have that many of my own halters. I don't keep them really. <laughs> so, yeah, that's interesting. And then I just grab this tack box over here. Bring it right here. And here's a bunch of other random stuff in there too. So... Yeah, that's so so from a long time ago. It's my old tack. By the way, I do have fairy lights and I do have other ones, but I didn't turn them on yet. But um, I have this like little fairy light switch here, so I don't know if you can see that, or I can just switch it on. And it looks pretty realistic. I mean, I like the lighting. It's better in person, but and I also have my contact paper floor that I didn't mention yet. <laughs> So, we just put this a few days ago, and it's really cool. I really like it. I have to take the barn away and it's everything to put it, but um, that's fine. It's just like a little scratch here, but Ty will get scratched too. But it's really cool, and I'll show you the rest of it later because I don't want to spoil the rest of the barn for you. But it's super cool. I really like it. It looks really realistic. So now, there is the, uh, there are, rather not there is, there are some pigs here. So, this one here is... Mama. I know it's just a weird name, but you know. She's a mama pig, so I named her Mama. And there is Mr. Fig and Mr. Bean. Oh, sorry, Miss Bean. This here is Pigs. Yeah. Her name is just Pigs. <laughs> and she was adopted by the mini pigs because she's still a small baby pig. And I just kind of pretend that she's going to stay that way because she is because she's not real. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, and then over here. Uh, behind the little pigs in a basket 
It's like pigs in a blanket, pigs in a basket, no, four things. Uh, anyway, there's like a little crate with neck ropes, and the other crates below them are empty. Um, yeah, they are empty. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Yes, they are empty. Uh, but I just have some neck ropes here. It's the same like the halters. I can just grab some and, you know, use them for their lesson. Uh, so these neck ropes are for everybody to use. Pretty cool. And I just knocked over someone. Hold on a second. And I have this little Tokidoki. It's a charm, like, for a bag. But I took it as, like, a little model horse. It's really big compared to my people, though. But it's super cute. I like it because... I mean, I love all of them, but I love this one especially because it has those little, like, hibiscus and everything. It just looks like a little Hawaiian, uh, you know, alicorn, so it's super cute. I I just have it in the barn because, you know, since I'm in Hawaii, it's nice to have some kind of little Hawaiian decor. But, yes, it is big compared to the people. Yay, very big. But she just lives in that little crate because she's adorable. There she is. Here's a little saddle rack here, and it has a dressage saddle and bridle just sitting here. I barely ever use this set, really, so <laughs> it's just there. <laughs> and then we have the wash stall. And the wash stall is in the corner, and it's not that easy to use. I'm trying to figure out, like, a better way of maybe configuring my barn. Wow, that hose is moving by itself. That's freaky. But anyway, I'm thinking maybe putting these chests there and like that wash salt here or something so it's easier to use, but I'm not too sure about that yet. It's just an idea. It's a work in progress, really, this whole barn. I might rearrange it completely one day. But uh, yeah, and then there's a little bucket sitting on the wall, a halter that is tied to that little loop just so everybody can use that halter to, to uh, wash their horse or tack up if they want to tack up here. Then there's a little colored saddle soap, a blank saddle soap, or you can also use it to wash your horse. It's not really saddle soap, it's just any kind of soap. Then there's a little treat jar right over there. So, the treat jar that was by the wash stall there, I think I have a couple more lying around the barn. But, I'll just show you it up close. So I put a little label that says twists. And inside I have some peppermint twists that I made. Let's just... Oh gosh, this is going to be hard. I took one out. They are just little paper clay. And I twisted a white piece onto a red piece. Twisted it in and cut it. And that's what all those treats in there are. So I'm just going to stick it back in a jar. Put the cork back on. But yeah, those are like little treats. If I can close it. <laughs> those are just little treats that anybody can grab and use because this is a lesson barn. So we have all the stuff that's useful for lessons in this barn. There is a little grooming kit for the wash stall. And I'll show you what's in there. I just have this little horseshoe sticker on this grooming kit. And I don't like that it has a white outline. I wish they didn't do that to those stickers. Because that's an official sticker. Oh, oh gosh. There, so I have some stuff that I made inside of it. Just stand up. <laughs> so there's a little towel, because you always need a towel at the wash rack. Then there's a little, oops, gosh, I just dropped it. There's a little soap for washing the horse or, you know, your tack. There's a soft sponge. There's a sweat scraper. There. It's a little... So that scraper that I make, uh, these are included in my grooming kits. And then there's a little hoof pick that I also made. All the stuff in there I made. And yeah. There's a switch for the other lights, but I'm not going to turn those on yet. I'm going to show you later. And there's a little clock, because of course there has to be a clock. Everybody needs to know when their lessons are going to be held, so there's a little tiny clock. I mean, you can barely see it. <laughs> like if the people are on the ground and yes that thing is very dusty I will have to wipe it off soon but sorry about that and then there's three bucket buckies <laughs> three buckies I've been watching too many Marvel movies my goodness three buckets and they're all different colors and then there is a little milk bottle for tending to the foals because there is actually always one foal in this barn I think it's just a cute idea then there are three medical kits and one, two, three, four, five, six, no, five, five, yeah, five. <laughs> There's five grooming kits on this little shelf here, but the medical kits only have medical stuff, and the grooming kits just have grooming stuff. I'm not even going to show you. It's not important. Um, 
And it's a little ladder. Like, it actually unfolds so the people can grab stuff that's on the higher shelves. Then there's our hen and our rooster. Sorry, it's getting dark at this corner here, but I can't do anything about it. The lights don't hit there anyway. Uh, so, yeah, that's our hen. Her name is Hey Hey, and then the rooster's name is Apollo. There's a pitchfork and a broom. A giant bucket of apples, giant bucket of other kind of food, like for the pigs and stuff. Then there's a bike, because one of the riders bikes here, because um, she doesn't have a car. So she rides here on the bike. There you can see one of the horses peeking out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then here we have, ooh, Holly. That's her name. Sorry, I almost forgot. Her name is Holly, and she's next to the scratching post that Cedar Crest Stables made me. It is super cute. That was from our advent calendar trade. And she was the one that gave me the idea for the advent calendar. So thank you so much, Cedar Crest Stables. This is also super cute. It's very realistic. I really like it because it looks like a real cat scratching post. It's super cute. And I just put that right there because I think it's a good spot because it's not like getting in the way of anything. And then there's a trash can here. And you can open it up. There's trash in there. Just some random strings I found on the ground one day. <laughs> and yeah, it's actually made out of metal. Yeah, pretty cool. And I just keep it there because every barn needs a trash can. Oh, and of course right here at the center is our fountain. And there's a little lily pad thing in there. It got stuck to the Mod Podge, but it's like a little lily pad. It's from a um, little pet shop set. I have a feeling I keep saying sat. I, uh, set, set, set. <laughs> and here is the fountain. So I'm wondering what I could put on the top. And then I figured I can just put a mini winnie. And I was thinking, yeah, but it should be silver. So I painted it silver. Because I have a bunch of these mini winnies, and this is a body anyway. It was my first uh, mini winnie. And I was kind of thinking maybe I shouldn't paint it. I should paint a different one. But then I was thinking, you know, I'm never going to get rid of this fountain. So this way, the mini winnie will be with me forever. All my horses will be. But yeah, you know. <laughs> then I put Mod Podge on him, so he's super nice and glossy. And he has little glimmers, and he's dusty. but it's super cute and then I just have all these like the poles and stuff because like a smaller one where he has his belly glued on to and his feet are also kind of slightly glued on with the Mod Podge and the poles are full of those nice shells I bought at Walmart and then I kind of filled it with Mod Podge and makes it look like water sort of there in this way now with this new flooring and with a lily pad there. It really looks like it's connected underneath and I just have to find a way to make it look like there's water spewing out of it. <laughs> then here's a little scene which is pretty cute, just that table is too short. Uh, so this here is Sahara and Sienna, both S's, <laughs> and there's Mist. I already showed you her. She wants the cake. And they're eating a little cake on a tiny table and two ice cream sundaes just sitting and talking about something most likely horses because they're waiting for their lesson they should get hurrying up I think their lesson is soon <laughs> but yeah here's a little bag of treats that I just keep there on the like edge <laughs> that's pretty cute and you know people need to treat their horses once they're done riding and then I have two mini winnies here on the bottom and I consider them like briar traditional models because <laughs> I kind of like to pretend that these are like real horses and this is like the real barn and stuff so I put like these horses here as if they're traditional briars so I call this one raining uh, I think it's raining I'm not I'm maybe sliding stuff I'm not sure but I, I just call it the raining quarter horse mold and this one's name is brownie uh, brownie brittle actually and this one I consider it on the silver mold and his name is silver and there's a little horse head like a clay horse head that SSS Tack Shop, Tack Horse Over 200, <laughs> um, her stable is Silver Star Stables, but uh, she made this little clay horse head and included it with my order the first time I ordered from her Etsy shop, and it's super cute. I bought a blue rope holder from her, and you might see it later. And it's just so cute, and I keep it right here on the barn because it's just adorable. I can't believe she made it. <laughs> Up here, I have a no smoking sign because that's always important. 
You cannot smoke around horses. And keep all stalls and paddocks locked. And I put those little gems there because they're cute. And now we're moving into the barn. But I don't know. I think I'm going to show you this side first. <laughs> there are two boots. And they're really oversized. But they're just kind of for show. Then there is a purse and a skirt for the people. <laughs> it's kind of interesting how I'm just sitting there. Then there are some show necklaces, like neck ropes. Uh, four show, uh, five show halters, sorry. <laughs> I forgot there was two there. Then there are some pull wraps, a rubber band, a spare full halter, and another treat uh, bag. And then there's some plants up here. It looks like a succulent. I think this is a succulent too, and some primroses. By the way, on top of the barn, I have Mr. Tukey, the toucan, and he's just super cute. I bought him for no reason. I mean, he's he's adorable, you know. <laughs> I couldn't pass. And then also over here is shade. And I just thought, you know, cat on top of the roof is logical because they're always on top of the roof. <laughs> now we move into the barn. Dun, dun, dun. So here we have an empty stall. This is normally where uh, Frigga and Lady Sif are. <laughs> so Frigga is the Appaloosa mare, new from this year. And Lady Sif is, wait, no, it's opposite, sorry. Lady Sif is the Appaloosa Mare from this year, and Frigga is her foal. So it's pretty cute. They live in this stall, but they're not currently here. I think they're in the living room. <laughs> I was sizing tech on them. Yeah, for myself. But anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, so they're not here right now. But they normally are double locked. Uh, I made these stall locks just to be more realistic. So, I think that Frigga can squeeze through here, the full. <laughs> so, instead of just tightening this one, I also put this kind of chain up here. I made this one ages ago, but I actually found use for it. So now it can't open at all, which is actually smart. <laughs> and I made these cross ties. I just connect them to the stall locks. They're really adjustable on both sides. And... I think it's just really realistic because not that many people have cross ties in their barns and they just tack up the horse in a wash stall, but that doesn't happen in real life. You always have cross ties in the barn. And I'm thinking of putting another set back there so that there can be like two horses getting tacked up at the same time. I most likely will do that. And then there's a halter that belongs to Shiharazadi, which is this horse up here. She's on my shelf that collects a horse. But, um,. Since I don't have any sell to Schleich holders for myself, I'm just using it here for now. But yeah, she, uh, this is Mippy, and she's just, you know, clipped on here, so she can't go this way, can't go this way, and can barely go this way. And she can go back, but I don't think that she's, un, like, misbehaved, so. <laughs> and she's just waiting for the girl that's going to ride her to come back with a grooming kit and her tack, so then they can get ready for their lesson. And that's the saddle and bridle that belongs to um, Lady Sif and Frigga, but obviously Frigga isn't ridden yet. And uh, yes, Marvel movies, that kind of, yeah, that's where I got the names from, obviously. Um, <laughs> yeah, that back stall is very dark, I'm sorry. Somehow, these fairy lights on this barn, like on the barn here, are not as bright as these ones. For some reason, it's odd. I might, I might have to change it, I'm not really sure. But, um... Yeah, they go along here, and I will have to pull him out, but he is an Icelandic pony stallion. Wait a minute. Uh, okay, I gotta pull him out to show you. And he's super cute. I really love this guy, and I couldn't find him anywhere, and then one day I saw him on Amazon, and I had to get him. I don't know why I like him. I think it's just because he's a pinto. I mean, his mold is cute, too, but I don't know, like... I love him though. <laughs> He's really cute. His name is Reykjavik. Yes, okay, I remember. Sorry guys, sorry for the lag. His name is Reykjavik, but everybody at the stable calls him Ray for short because Reykjavik is kind of hard to say at some point. Yeah, that's him, and he lives in this back stall there. And then there's his saddle and bridle right there. And then there's Dorky the Yorkie. Uh, and. I forget who that is. <laughs> Sorry, I 
don't really remember their names, but I will have to try. Um, the saddle and bridle are missing from here because someone else is using them at the moment. Uh, I don't know where it is. It's got to be somewhere. Oh, I think it's in the living room. I don't know. I'm not sure. But uh, And here, is it focusing? Mm, I can't tell. It's too dark. I will have to pull this guy out. Honestly, I don't know what's going on with my furry lights. They're not too bright on this side of the barn. I will have to switch them. But this here is Cooper. He is my Hanoverian uh, stallion. My retired one. He's super cute. I like how he has sprayed markings. I think it's so sweet. And yeah, this guy is adorable. I got him for my birthday last year. He came in a blind box uh, that I got from Zulily.com. And I don't know if they even have those anymore. I really want to get one this year. But I don't know if they have them anymore. Uh, but I totally love this guy. He is super duper cute. And I'm so glad I got him. I was trying to find him and I couldn't. And then I was hoping that I would get him in the blind box. And I did. So that's great. He is really amazing. They're eating some food. I don't know if you can see him. It's really dark. I'm so sorry. And then there's a little, like, a oat treat in this stall. And it has two keys hanging off of it that you'll know what they're for later in my channel. <laughs> and then here is Sunburst. She's my, one of my favorite horses ever. She is so pretty. Like, so pretty. She's from this year. She's a really nice new model. So, wait a minute, I'm sorry, I am trying to focus on her eyes here. So, this eye is a really nice realistic eye. It's brown, it has the right pupil going the right way. And this eye is just brown with no pupil. So I made a story uh, that explains her eye and her name. So her name is Sunburst because when she was just born, and when she would like just open her eyes and stuff, um, that there was... Like, all of a sudden, the sun just had a burst of being even brighter. And it caused her to go blind in one eye. Or rather, like, I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain. I mean, you can't lose your pupil when you get blinded by the sun. But I, I don't know. I, I kind of just, it's fiction, okay? It's, it's fantasy. Uh, but, yeah, and then her pupil magically disappeared. And that's why they decided to call her Sunburst. And yeah, that's why she wears yellow ribbons in her mane. That's also explaining her ribbons. <laughs> but yeah, and I think that Schleck should continue making horses in Portugal. Because she's made in Portugal. And her detailing is absolutely insane. I love her. And there's her tack there, but she doesn't use that one. She uses a different one, so I don't even know why it's there. Now going on this side, there's a little rock that I found at the beach. Like a couple weeks back. It's so amazing. Like, I think it's probably part of a wall because there's a fancy wall somewhere from one of the estates that's near the beach. And I think this came off of that. So there's like little quartz, I think, and stuff. But I um, I found it in the ocean. So finders keepers. Not like they're going to put it back on the wall anyway. <laughs> so I picked it up. And I thought it'd be really cute to put near the barn somewhere. So I put it right there. I think it's actually pretty cute because at the barn there's always some kind of little rocks or little fancy rocks that like surround a little planter with flowers or something. Uh, yeah, and then that, that's the girl and there's some bursts on the other side here. And I don't know the girl's name because I never remember anybody's names. Not even people I meet in the street, honestly. <laughs> I don't meet people on the street, but you know. People I meet in real life. So here is the bunnies enclosure. There's too many bunnies in here. There is a little bowl for food, but there's no food in there yet, because it's after feeding time. There's gray, brownie, sandy, or, no, that's brownie, not sandy. Is it? I don't know. I'm confused. Sorry, but they're all, like, the same mold, I think. Uh, and there are the three bunnies. There's, uh, coffee? No. Yeah, coffee. No, mocha, coffee. Wait, gosh, how do I forget their names all the time? Their names are super cute. Wait a minute, let me think. Creamer. Okay, yes, yes, now I remember. Creamer, espresso, and coffee. I don't know, it's just, it's cute. I thought it'd be really cute to do some kind of little coffee-ish theme. There's my little, like, uh, ceramic bunny in there I got from Ben Franklin's. And uh, this here is Lacey, not Lazy, 
but Lacey, that reminds me of Daisy Saul's video, oh yeah, um, but this is Lacey, like, you know, kind of like leather lace, that kind of lace, um, and she's super pretty, her eyes are a bit freaky, but she's still really cute, she's a border collie, no, 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 Australian Shepherd, sorry, <laughs> she's an Australian Shepherd, and this here is uh, Mia, M Mia, I think, yeah, and she's about to open the bunny enclosure, I guess, to grab one of the baby bunnies to show Lacey. Lacey's very good with bunnies. There's Easter the Holland Lop. I named it after my bunny. And then there's Gray's baby and Brownie's baby. Or is that Sandy's baby? It's Sandy's baby. And they don't have names yet. So if you have name suggestions, let me know. It's overcrowded, though, this bunny pen. <laughs> I don't have space to put any other one, and I don't have another one, so, yeah. The lighting is terrible back here, but uh, that's the back of Cooper's stall. And, yes, that door can still open to let Cooper out. Um, then here is, I forgot her name, but she's petting Coca and Coco. Yeah, I know, it's Coca, Coca and Coco, but, you know, <laughs> couldn't figure out any better names. They're not good with naming other animals other than horses. Um, and then there's their dog house there. It has a little bow that I left on for Chris, uh, from Christmas. I also left the bows on their stalls because I think it's just super cute. So these are the two single stalls that I got last year. I got one of them for my birthday. Uh, anyway, so they also have stall locks. So their stall doors cannot open bigger than this. Because otherwise their doors are just so easy to open. The horse can literally just push on it with their nose and the door will open. Um, so obviously it needs to have a lock. And this looks exactly like Ziggy's lock that he has at the barn, and all the other horses at the barn has like have those kind of locks. So I just decided to put one here because it's really realistic. And then I got this idea from uh, Byra CS. I'm not going to be selling these because she's already selling them. Um, but I made this little like peppermint hanging treat for the stall. I just I just wanted to put it in there. I mean, hope Briar CS isn't mine. I didn't steal her idea and giving her credit. So that's her idea, not mine, just to clarify. And oh, so the little jars of uh, peppermint treats are her idea too. I just added a label. So on top of the um, barn, these, I mean, not barn, rather the stall, these, these roofs do come, like they oh, so like they can be lifted up so then the stall is open. But it's like these lights are hooked around that one so I never really take them off. And this here is Lucy and she is the Andalusian mare. Oh, come on. She's really, really, really pretty. I love her so much. She has realistic eyes, I believe. She's super pretty. I like her braids, and that's one rare time when I actually like a bunch of braids on a horse. <laughs> but yeah, she's super cute, and she's just munching on her apples, because when you have that many apples, you really should be eating them. <laughs> and yeah, there's just a little sign that says horse club with a little horseshoe and there are two ribbons there. And I don't really have a particular reason why she's in these, like this stall and not the other stalls. But I think it's just because she's for the more advanced uh, lessons. And the other horses in the main, the big barn, are for the like not as experienced people. So anything can go wrong even on the best horse, you know. <laughs> but anyway. There's uh, her halter here, but it's actually not her halter, but, you know, whatever. I just say it's her halter. <laughs> and then right here is just Mippy's full night. And it's not night like day or night. It's night like sh night in shining armor. And she is super cute. It's like the only female knight in the world. <laughs> and I love her little mane style. It's so cute. Her sprayed markings are also very adorable. And, yes, lip designers are always... Uh, black or dark brown when they are babies and then they become white later or they stay black which is very rare and they don't use it for shows I think they kill the brown ones I'm not even sure but I, I hope not <laughs> but yeah and then these stalls do like open like this and I'm pretty sure Knight can squeeze through there but it's okay <laughs> she's not going to she's not real don't tell her that. And then she has green apples there, but I don't think she's weaned yet, so she still needs Mippy to feed her. That's how we have a little milk bottle, so we can feed her while Mippy's working. And then this here is Mippy's halter. It has little jewels on it. And uh, Knight doesn't need one because she always follows her mummy around. So that was it for that barn. Now let's move on to the other barn, which is the show horse barn. 
Starting over here at the left, we have Goldie, the female golden retriever, and Lox, which is her puppy. In here we have this girl just petting Goldie, and I don't know her name either. And under the roof you can see on the inside there's a bone that fell out of the bowl. And there's probably a leash inside that side compartment, but I can't open that. Because, <laughs> you know, then I have to remove the dog house and everything. It's a hassle. I forgot to turn on my lights, and I just did, and now it looks way better. <laughs> anyway, so there, here is a little, like, a uh, watering trough. And I just filled it with some glossy Mod Podge. I got the idea from uh, Shike Horse Lover 200. Oh gosh, it's not focusing. But she filled hers with hot glue, I filled mine with glossy Mod Podge, which also works. And yes, I know my barn is not realistic. It only has like one tiny pasture, honestly. But, you know, there's not, there's no space for me to have a real realistic barn. So I am very sorry for that. And I wish I could have a realistic barn, but I can't really. Yes, you can see the seams on these, but I'm trying to kind of move. And I'm trying to shape these fake grass pieces in the way so that you can't really see it too much. But it's not working. <laughs> anyway, here is some horse poo that I made to put in the pastures and arenas. There's another piece in the arena. Um, and then there's some food in this little metal trough. There's just some cut up friendship thread and that's what I use for food. It's kind of realistic. I mean, realistic enough. And then over here they have their treats. So there's an apple and some carrots. There's two jolly balls because there's two horses here. So there are, uh, there are their, yeah, can't speak. <laughs> there are their owners. And I don't know their names either. Gosh, I have to make them names. Sorry, they're like not named, any of them. Here is Clifford, the Andalusian stallion from last year. He has a cute little fly mask, but that's the old cell because it has a jump ring closure. And this is Puzzles, and he has his little fly mask on too. That's one of the first fly masks I made, so it's all messed up. But still, it's super cute. And he's new from this year, and he's one of my favorite ones from this year. He's so cute. Now the arena! Ta-da! So... I have little champion stickers there. I got the champion, like the one that says champion from Cedar Crest Stables. And there's like two little bows here. <laughs> then I have this little ladybug that keeps falling out of the sky. I don't know where it like, even came from. It's not a real one, obviously, but just like showed up one day. And it used to be hanging on my curtain and it just kind of flew and landed right here on the barn. So I was like, okay. I just stuck it there and now it stays there. It's like its purpose in life, though it's not alive, but you know. Over there, I'm just going to zoom in because I can't stick my hands in there. I, sorry, the quality's bad. There's like a little ball for like Jimkana kind of stuff. I actually don't know what Jimkana is, but okay. <laughs> There's like a really, really high jump that looks more like a notice sign, which I might make it into a notice sign, to be honest. There's a piece of a jump that's actually for stable mates, but I use it for my shake horses. And here is this girl that's about to ride Mippy, who was in the lower barn, with her doggy, uh forget the name, soldier, soldier, I don't know, uh, setting up the jumps for her lesson, jumps this is, <laughs> and there is poop there, which she's going to clean up, I can guarantee you, I'm going to make her, you better, <laughs> and then there's the back of this barn, there's a pony saddle and bridle, they're all falling over, but it's okay, and there's the first saddle bags I made, and, yeah, and then over here on this sliding gate. It's just an old domino box. And it slides like that and it meets up with this fence and just get locked right in there. Pretty cool. It works. Down here we just have a treats. A bunch of treats like there's rolled, rolled up balls and twists and stuff. And there's some cakes down there but I think they're just fake decoration. I don't know. There's a bunch of shiny apples to give to your horse after you ride. And there's some water bottles also to Give yourself after you ride, or your horse if they can drink from a bottle. Some horses can, it's very talented. <laughs> and there's some more apples, and there's this little glass bottle thing with flowers, which I might move because it's kind of unsafe to have it there. And there's this official Schleich person, the only official one you'll probably see in this barn, uh, in my whole barn really, and she can move her arms. And you see, she came with one of the single stalls of the Arabians. Um, but, in the ad, 
It showed that she can bend her legs, and she definitely does not bend her legs. She only bends her arms, and she doesn't even bend them at the elbow like they said. So, yeah. I think the posable riders for this year got cancelled. I don't know. But anyway, and then this is uh, Mixer, who is like a Chihuahua mix. I just call it Mixer. I think. I'm pretty sure that's her name. I don't know. Maybe it's not, but forgive me. <laughs> this is Beachcomber. It's the model Beachcomber. It doesn't look anything like her, but it's okay. Um, and she's another Briar traditional. <laughs> and there's a little pitchfork with hay and another pitchfork for like cleaning the arena. There is a little uh, more Briar traditionals. A <laughs> uh, little flower, like, what is it? Flower? thing. Flower, window flower box. Yeah. Do not feed the show horses because they're on special diets. More cross ties, but they're just connected there. And another flower box. A chalkboard that has nothing on it. Paint me a Pepto. <laughs> the traditional model with a little neck rope. Another traditional model. <laughs> a little like a water jug you can get water from. And there's my little HH sign. I just decided to put it here because whatever. And there's a little trash can. And it has nothing in it yet. Wow, people are not too messy at this show barn. And here's the switch. Oh, yeah. For the barn lights, they take a little while to come on for some reason. Come on, you can do it. There. <laughs> it takes a while. But yeah, these are just connected here because this barn is not being used at the moment. Um, yeah, and here is Francesca. She is the... Uh, Frisian mare. She's really pretty. I really love her. She's super cute. And I'm just, just going to put her back here. The horses in this barn are not doing much. <laughs> uh, so she's going to be drinking and does her uh, tack set. This is Rodolfo who is like her mate. The Frisian stallion. i got to take him out. He's shiny. He's super cute. I like how shiny he is. He's one of my first horses. <laughs> he's super shiny. And yeah, he's just going to be kind of staring at her. That's why not. Oops. He's tipped over. There we go. <laughs> There's his tack set, which is actually not the tack set he uses. There is Duke's best friend, Turtle. There's Duke. That's uh, his best friend, Turtle. They cannot be separated. She wants to get into a stall, and he wants her to get in the stall, too. But Christine here is trying to make that not happen. <laughs> there's Duke's tack set. Then there's a western set for Duchess, but she doesn't do westerns, so I don't even know why it's there. And, uh, yeah, so this is Duchess, the Hanoverian mare from last year. She's super pretty. And here is Duke. He is super cute. I really love this guy. He's one of my favorites. So, yeah, guys, I know that wasn't very long of a barn tour, but my barn isn't that big. But this is my little overview of my barn now. So this is the show barn that I have just finished showing you. And then down here is the lesson barn. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. And as you can see, that's just how they are. It's like a level above. Just like that. So guys, thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. To my channel to see more videos like this one and you know just go search my to my channel i do have other videos uh, so yeah thank you for watching guys and i'll see you next time bye